Well, a wild night here at Lions headquarters in Allen Park just wrapped up after midnight tonight. The Lions, part of one of the two trades in the first down, traded down from pick 23 to 28, and there they selected Duke guard Lakin Tomlinson. They also got offensive tackle Manny Ramirez from the Denver Broncos, as well as a fifth round selection this year and a fifth round selection in 2016. The front office, of course, very excited about getting a big man who can help bolster that front line. We, we, we look at our board. Um, we see the players that we have available. Do we have guys that we like that are available? How many spots can we go back? The opportunity to, to get Manny was pretty important for us. Um, we had a couple different, we actually had three opportunities to, to move back. That was the one that we chose, um, but I think Manny was a pretty key part of that. I certainly feel good about, like I said, our, our depth. Um, you know, we improved it, um, but I think also I, I'm, you know, certainly encouraged by what the, physically what they uh, appear to be able to do. Uh, you know, we have to see. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't you don't win any games at this time of year. You put yourselves in better position, but it's it's the process that you go through. We'll see how they adjust, how quickly they can adapt, if they can get themselves in position from a strength standpoint to be competitive, uh, and then if they can learn every thing that we have to be able to do on the line of scrimmage in a, in a rapid, uh, in a short amount of time at a rapid pace. The 6'3", 320 pound offensive guard was floored when he talked to reporters. He said he was speechless when he was talking to the Lions uh, front office after they had picked him and for good reason. He's a very good run blocker, but he might even be a better pass blocker. He has not given up a sack in two years. He started all four years at Duke and when he heard his name called. Walking across that stage was a moment he won't some Having that moment, you know, uh, hear my name being called, it's, it's just amazing. You know, it's like a dream come true, really. Um, walking across that stage has deep, deeply impacted my life and just not, not only my life, but my family's life and, you know, everyone that I've been connected to since I've been here in the United States and everyone back home in Jamaica. So it's, it's really been a tremendous night, and I'm just so happy. It all starts with the, with the lines, uh, you know, offensive line, defensive line. It all starts up front. We talked about that a little bit last week. Uh, we want to be strong on both sides of the ball up front, and this is a move in that direction. You know, I true, truly believe that your offense and defensive line is the heartbeat of your team. Um, it's um, a very, very important portion of it, and uh, those two, those guys make a difference in terms of how your team progresses, being able to stop the run and run the ball. And I think this kind of gets us in the position where we're at least on the right track. Now, the Lions did get off to a very good start to this 2015 NFL draft, but they're certainly not done there. They have a lot of work left to do, and it all starts tonight, second and third round. They have the 54th overall pick and the 88th overall pick in the third round, so they should be still looking defensive line, trying to find a void to fill some of that running back position, and maybe we'll even see another defensive player in that defensive backfield. With the Lions at Allen Park, Justin Rose, 7 Action Sports.